Hi, this is Heather from McCarthyHeather.blogspot.com and I am going to show you how to make this um, twist and pop card. So, here's the front of it and pop and twist. So, I have seen quite a few tutorials for this on the internet and it's always done with 12 by 12 paper and I'm an A4 girl. So, I thought I'm going to work it out in A4. So, that's what I've done for you. Now, what you're going to need to have is your piece of A4 paper and we're going to cut it first of all. So, enter the cutter and you want to cut it so that you cut two sections of eight centimeters off it. So one section of eight centimeters, two sections of eight centimeters and the remainder. Okay, so one, two, three pieces. So this creates your card and then you have extras for just decoration places. So take your larger section and you basically want to um, fold it in half. So I'm using the Stampin' Up! scoreboard here. Take it to ten and a half, score it down the middle, and you will find that it just folds in half there for you. So we'll pop that piece to one side. Take one of your pieces that is the eight centimetre piece, and again score it in half. This time, turn it over, pop it back onto your scoreboard and stamping up have conveniently given us a 5.25 which is exactly half of ten and a half. So we do that, turn it round and score it again. Then that way you will end up with a piece that concertinas like that in exactly quarters. Okay, so pop that one to one side and the last piece you want to take it this way Score it at four centimetres all the way down the length of it. And then you need to measure in six and a half centimetres from each edge. So six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, and last edge, six and a half. There we go. That's a six and a half measured. Then you take it and you go from one to the other side. So you're basically doing a diagonal score through your card. And then you take this side and go to this side. And again, you've got your diagonal. So you will end up with a cross through the middle and this one coming through the middle. So all of those um, score lines should go together. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to mountain fold that side and mountain fold this side. Let's get rid of the scoreboard because we're done with that now. So once you've got those two, you've got mountain fold on both of those, then you want to valley fold the middle piece. So go back to your mountain folds and you've got your valley fold and all you do then is just press the sides together like that and it gives you sort of like this little walking person. So that's what your mechanism is made from. Okay, so let me just remind you that's the piece that comes underneath here that creates it all. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to take this piece and with the triangles pointing downwards, flatten it out on your table. Then you want this piece and you want this um, mountain fold to be in the middle like that. So these two pieces, because they're both the eight centimeters, will fit together nicely like this. Then flat one end over, draw a line down there and give yourself an X and a little X up there because those two pieces will get glued together. Go to the other end and you put the X's up the top there. You want to put the X's down the bottom of this one. Okay. So then what you can do is take your tear and tape adhesive and pop some of that down in the middle. And there. And you just want to cover over this area that you've got, um, oh, get this on the end. Um, so 
yeah, just cover over that that area where you put the X. X marks the spot, as they say. Then that should just go onto there. And then you can move down to the other side. Another way you can add all your, your glue bits at this one time, but ideally don't try and glue it down at the same time because you could end up in a world of mess doing that. So that's those. Let's just lift that one off. Lift that one off. And lift that one off. Whoops, one, two, three. Get rid of those bits. And just fold it back on itself. Don't let it fold over onto the other side of the card because you don't want that to be stuck down and stick that piece down. And this will then fold up together like that and form your little mechanism piece. All right, so now that we've done that, let's bring back the main card and let's decorate it. So I have pre-cut pieces. I've used Candy Cane DSP, so designer series paper, and I uh, would need to do this part first. So, you need to have the outside piece. So, we want to have the outside piece attached down first. So, grab your snail adhesive or fast fuse, whichever. It don't, doesn't matter with the ins outside piece, but it will matter with the inside piece because that actually has to stay in place really well. So after this I'll be using fast fuse. So then you want to use your fast fuse and just take yourself a line all the way along there. Get rid of that. Pop that down onto your card. Oh. That would really help if I could actually manage to get it straight too. There we go. Right, tuck that round on both sides like that. So you end up with a nice, it doesn't matter if it's fairly long in the center, okay, but you do want it so that it covers. And this piece then will cover over that. So now this piece does need to be fast fused really well down. So just make sure that you have done all the sides of it and probably across in the centre as well. And then just layer that one down onto there. Okay, just like that. Then you take this piece and the same thing again that it actually wants to be really well um, glued down. Oh, and I've come to the end of my fast fuse. I might take rid of, get rid of that piece and we'll move on to the next fast fuse. I had a feeling I was getting near to the end of it. So you can get replacements for the fast fuse. I just thought in the video it'd probably be quicker if I just use the next one along. So that is the beginning of the decoration of your card. Then you need to have um, which bits next? Let's attach the inside next. So to attach this piece, what you want to do is you need to find the middle of your card. So you need to find the middle um, center in the, in the fold, okay? And just grab your um, fast fuse again, because fast fuse is a little bit stickier. It has more sort of holding power than the, um, than the what did I say, tear and tape adhesive? Anyway. The tear and tape adhesive has slightly more holding power than the fast fuse does, which is why I'm using this for here. Because you, you really need this piece to, um, to be on here really well. So just take those pieces off. Again, make sure that it doesn't flip over the other side. So if it's a little bit long, just tuck it back on itself there. And what you then do is you take this to the center of your card like that, make sure that the bottom is going to be nice and flush too, and 
just go down with it, turn it over and do the other side. fold that piece down as well. Okay, push it down nice and firm and there we go for that. All right, so next you want to decorate it up a little bit. So what I've done, I've used this candy cane designer series paper and it has these cute little houses. So I've actually cut out a couple of the houses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick down one house on this side and one house on this side because I think they're ever so cute, those little houses. And the other thing that I wanted to do with this card was to add a couple of sayings. So I've taken this really nice set, it's called Embellished Ornaments. It actually does come with um, framelits as well to cut it out, but I just really like it. It's got beautiful ornaments in it and it's got some nice words in it too. So what we're going to do with these is we take our real red ink pad and you want to go thinking of you at Christmas and with loving wishes for a bright and beautiful season. So I'll just get rid of those two and we'll get rid of the red ink pad now. And then I've used this one which is called Best Badge just to cut these out so it's just a tad tight I have to admit but it does work one and thinking of you at Christmas two so we can put best badge away we can put that little piece of paper away and the other thing I have actually cut out two of the best badge in crumb cake just to give it a little bit of a shadowing look so all you're going to do then is just add that just onto that one and the same on this side. So I might go that way just so that it sort of echoes it as it were, like that. And then we can just attach those two down. We've got one. If you're going to stamp directly onto this, I recommend you actually um, stamp it up before you attach it all together. But having said that, just make sure when you do attach it in that it's going to pop out the right way so that um, it doesn't end up. You pop out your card and it's upside down because I was just about to do that earlier and thankfully stopped and saved myself from doing so. Now, for the little decoration on the front of your card, I've cut out these two hearts with the Layering Hearts Thin Lit dies, and all I'm going to do is add a um, dimensional onto the little one, and it's very cute, and then I'm going to add a bit more of the Fast Fuse. Did you know that you have to cut the fast fuse off as well when you use it? So you just flick it off with your wrist. So then that's that. And it looks pretty cool like that. But with this one, I've gone ahead and I've just added a bow as well. So that's, that's your card made. I hope this has inspired you to have a go yourself. And um, do feel free to come back and check out other things that I pop onto my blog. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye.